As you know, our bodies are made up of vast amounts of blood vessels and nerves that wind their way through our bodies to supply their target organs. Much like a train going through a tunnel to get to the other side of a mountain, our neurovasculature often needs a way to pass through bony obstructions to reach its destination. It does this by passing through canals, foramina and fissures. And that's exactly what happens in today's structures of interest, which are the superior and inferior orbital fissures. So what do you say? Shall we get started? Before we get into the good stuff, here's a quick overview of what we'll look at today. We'll start by defining the superior and inferior orbital fissures. Then we'll quickly review the bones of the orbit. Next, we'll look at the superior orbital fissure and the structures that pass through it, followed by the inferior orbital fissure and its structures. Then we'll move on to the contents of the optic canal, and lastly, we'll conclude our tutorial with some clinical notes. As I mentioned in our introduction, fissures allow neurovascular structures to reach their destination. But what exactly are the superior and inferior orbital fissures? We can figure out a lot based on the names of these structures alone. Let's start with the words they have in common. Firstly, the word orbital tells us where in the body we should be looking for these structures. The orbit. The orbits are sockets within the skull in which the eyeballs are accommodated, in addition to their associated musculature, vessels and nerves. A fissure, on the other hand, is just another term used to describe a groove or a cleft. In this case, they are open and serve as passageways for other structures. In this image, we've zoomed in for a closer look at the right orbit. At its posterior aspect are two open elongated clefts, the superior orbital fissure and the inferior orbital fissure. OK, now it's time to review the bones that make up the orbit and contribute to these fissures. This is going to be a speedy tour of the orbit, but if you're hungry for more, check out our video on the bones of the orbit. The orbit has a roof, a floor, a lateral wall, a medial wall, and a posterior wall. Let's quickly remind ourselves which bones form these structures. The roof of the orbit is made up of the orbital surface of the frontal bone, and in turn the floor of the orbit is formed by the orbital surface of the maxilla. Within the maxilla, we can see the infraorbital groove, which transmits the infraorbital vessels and nerve. The lateral wall of the orbit is made up of the orbital surface of the zygomatic bone, while the medial wall of the orbit is composed of two bones, the lacrimal bone and the orbital plate of the ethmoid bone. Within the medial wall are two foramina, the anterior ethmoidal foramen and the posterior ethmoidal foramen. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.